Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. United Community Bank, an independent, family-owned and operated bank committed to empowering customers to achieve their financial goals. Member FDIC. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm here today at the Frazee Liquor Store with Liquor Operations Manager, Tammy Jo Hopwood. Hi, Tammy Jo. Good morning, Hank. Well, it's a beautiful day outside. It is. Warming it, up. It yeah. almost feels like spring. Well, yeah, I hear we're going to have some close to 50 degree weather. Yes, that's exciting. <laughs> And of course, you know, this time of the year, you know, when you start thinking of a spring, you know, and we have Lent coming up, but what happens before Lent is Mardi Gras. And uh, we aren't going to celebrate it on a Tuesday, but we're going to do February 25th. Yes, we're going to just pick a Saturday and celebrate it on Saturday. Yeah, and uh, so, you know, when you're thinking about spring's coming, you need to come and see us over here at the Frazee Liquor Store and see Tammy Jo here. And on the 25th, uh, in the evening, we will be uh, serving uh, a Cajun dish. Yeah, Hank here is going to be whipping up some Cajun dish and put it in a Nesco, and we'll serve it up to you guys. We'll have some drink specials that night and probably find some beads and have everybody come in and let's just enjoy it. Yeah. Say les beaux temps rouler. Let the good times roll. It's that time of the year. Get out of your cabin. Come and see us over here, you know, and, and meet Tammy Jo here. And, uh, you know, over this next year, we're going to have some interesting things here happening with the liquor operation. We're going to be doing some remodeling and other things. Yeah, giving a facelift, and hopefully we get that food rolling here pretty soon and get some, some nice dishes for you guys every day instead of just Mardi Gras. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's... It's always nice to have something to eat when you're when you're having a drink or two, especially <laughs> when when uh, it's at the end of the day and you can't quite make it home. Yeah, well, and nobody wants to cook once they get home, so. You're absolutely right there. So you know, and so how are things going here with your first uh, uh, month of operations? Hitting the ground running and learning lots and just investigating and moving forward. Running hard and getting put away wet. Yep. <laughs> Well, you know, and it's always interesting to see what goes on, you know, with uh, being a new manager and coming into a new place. And it, 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 you have to hit the ground running, and it's not always easy. No, it has its challenges, but it's, in, it's enjoyable. So yeah. I've enjoyed my time so far. Well, and that's great. And we're very happy to have you here. And, you know, we uh, look forward uh, for uh, things to move forward here at... Uh, at the liquor operations and uh, and of course as the sun keeps on being out more and more people start getting out more and more and that's a good reason to come and see Tammy Jo here at the liquor store yeah, and you never know what kind of specials we're gonna have going on we have we have daily drink specials and we also have specials in the IR offset yes yep so always keep stopping in and checking to see what we have going on it might look in the front like things are moving slow but there's lots going on in the back of the house so we're uh, excited to see you all and looking forward to it well tammy joe i really appreciate you what you're doing and being on the program and and talking to our uh, great audience out here in tv3 land and so but we're going to leave tammy joe right now and we'll be back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. The City of Frazee and Frazee Events Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage and a full service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Frazee Community Club, people and business coming together to make the community fun, friendly and thriving. Become a member and help support your community. Frazee Vergas Forum, locally owned and operated, bringing you news for the Lakes area in print or online. Subscribe today, FrazeeForum.com. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm here today with Fire Chief Bert Dahl. Howdy, Bert. Good afternoon, Hank. And, you know, it's that time of the year. Things are going on and going great. 
but I know it's you have some of your firemen retiring this year. That's right. We have uh, four firefighters retiring with over 89 years of service. So right now we're actively looking for new volunteer firefighters to join our team. Well, you know, and it's a great ongoing process. I know periodically we all get older and people go off uh, off the uh, department and it's really a commitment thing. It really is. Um, you really got to commit to one night a week and then some initial training. Um, and then when the page goes off, you know, we leave whatever we're doing and we go out and help citizens in emergency situations. And so when you look for volunteers, how close do they need to be to Frazee? We like them to live in our fire district or work in town. Um, working in town is a very good thing to find someone who actually works in town. So we're looking for people that uh, work in town at a grocery store, working at the meat market, um, work somewhere in town, um, Daggett's, any, anywhere where they work in town where they can respond during the day. And we're also looking for folks that uh, will be able to respond at night too. Uh, so that doesn't leave really anybody out. If you live around Frazee in our fire district or work in town, um, really anybody could join. It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of work, you know. I mean, uh, you learn a lot of things, great camaraderie, and you're doing a service that nobody else can do. That's right. Um, you're going to get highly trained for free, um, and that can lead to other opportunities throughout your life too. Um, we're going to provide all the training, basic training that a full-time fire department would get, um, and you're only volunteers. So it's a high quality of education you're going to gain with joining the fire department. Plus, you may be able to use this in your everyday life too. So if they wanted to get a hold of you about joining the fire department, how do they do that, Bert? The best way to get a hold of me, or you could pick up an application right at the city offices here in town. My phone number is 701-306-1161, or you can email the Frazy Fire Department at frazy.fire at com. Well, I appreciate that. Now, you know, I noticed that we have all these boxes behind us here. What do we got going on here, Bert? Look at, look at a half a cap. <laughs> That's right. We also, in March 25th, we have our Frazee Fire Department Relief Association fundraiser coming up. Um, that fundraiser is the one we do once a year. Uh, we have a lot of uh, businesses and personal people donating auction items. So if you have an auction item, something you want to donate to the Frazee Fire Department, we're all going to have live auction and silent auction. Plus, we'll have some gun raffles and miscellaneous uh, prizes and stuff like that available at our annual auction. Well, this is a great thing, too. You know, I mean, I've, I've bought a, a hog roast here before. That's right. And sometimes you get a hog roast, and there might be a half a hog, or multiple other things, maybe a nice table. Um, I know we had some nice chairs a few years ago, and there's a lot of good silent auction items. We usually get donated thousands upon thousands of dollars to give away at our auction. So this will be March 25th, and what time will at the event center, and what time will it be opening? That's right. It's at the event center. We're going to have the viewing of the silent auction items at 530, and then we open the auction at uh, 6 with the live auction starting at 7. Okay, Bert. You know, I appreciate you guys doing this, and all the fire department does, not only for the city of Frazee, but the other t surrounding townships that we have agreements with, and the mutual aids to Detroit Lakes, Perm, Vergas, and other areas. That's right. Uh, we, you don't, not only do you provide service to our local area, but it's going to be to the surrounding areas. Well, with that, as we say, you know, pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, wave at the neighbor. Because you never know, the next person you wave to might be your next best friend. And with that, we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.